So if God can do it for her sitting here, and then I was told another story about another lady that came here, you know, paralyzed, couldn't do anything, glory be to God. Just, just in the bed, couldn't do anything. They had to feed her through a tube, hallelujah. But the power of God came and touched that woman, restored her and healed her, and now she got up and walked out of this place, hallelujah, and, rest yeah, and restored back to her life. You don't hear me. And so, see, Lord have mercy. Do you, do you feel me? Do you feel me? Paralyzed. Feeding to Lord have mercy. Cancer, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But Jesus came to set the captive free. So when we see the anointing of God, you can't, you got to go, you got to believe what the word says. You got to have confidence in the man of God, in the woman of God. The anointing will what? Make room for you. If your faith will work, your faith is simply believing and knowing that if God is with them, God is with me. Glory be to God. A lot of people, oh, you don't hear me. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? And so when you set yourself in agreement, the Bible says, how can two walk together except they agree? We came in agreement. She started to agree with me way before that. See, because she, we grew up right, right we, were, we were neighbors. So she already knew what kind of boy I was. She already knew that. But then when God saved me and filled me with the Holy Ghost, she knew it was a transformation that took place in my life. That God had saved me and gave me something that she had never seen that it through, come through church life. Glory be to God. It was some power when I spoke. I was praying and speaking in a, own, in a language that was not known to me. I was not an educated boy. I'm speaking in a language. And when I began to speak in that language, power flowed out of my mouth because I was speaking by a what different spirit. And when that, when she would get in my presence, it was something about the anointing of the spirit that causes her faith to, what, to be stirred on the inside of her. See, we all have a measure of faith, but it will lay dormant on the inside of us if we don't what begin to agree and believe God's word. It will lay dormant. It will not produce like it should. Hallelujah, glory to God. Uh, does that make sense? And so she come in agreement and believe and God healed and delivered her. Glory be to God. Give God a hand praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. And so here we are. We have several stories of God doing what? The same thing. So his word has not lost his power. But sometimes I think we have lost not by intentionally trying to do it, but we have come to a place where we let the enemy has put so much pressure on the believer, on the church, to devalue the word of God, to take away that which God has given to the believer. Glory be to God. All right, does that make sense? And so if he occupies, and so we got to come back to the place where we believe what Jesus said rather than what we feel. Does that make sense? Because see, when you look at your circumstance and your situations, hallelujah, they look hopeless sometimes. You see no way out of it. Lord have mercy to Jesus. And so if you keep looking and focusing on that picture, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, hallelujah. So on this picture here, it says what? Antiques, buy, sell, trade. So when you see this picture and you see that building, automatically you know, I can buy, sell, or trade. Because when you see the picture, it, it projects an image on the inside of you that this is the place that I need to do business to buy, sell, or trade. Glory to God. So a picture is worth a thousand words. So if your image of yourself in relationship to God says defeated, broke, and disgusted, he may come, but he may not come. Lord have mercy. So if, that, if you keep seeing that picture in your everyday life in relationship to God and his word, well, what, what, what's going to happen to you? Now that picture consumes you because now you go into a hopeless mindset and you think God that's what God done left me. So if God done left me, I don't have no hope nowhere, no. All my friends done left me. My children done left me. Wife done left me. Glory be to God. Everybody done left me. And so now God done left me. And I'm in a hopeless situation and I can't do nothing about it. But you got to understand. You got to go back and see what the Bible says about that. Lord have mercy. 
See, because your perception about life and about God can be wrong. Because if you don't read the book for yourself, hallelujah, glory to be the Moroboko. The image that you perceive and take away from this Bible can be what? Distorted. Does that make sense this morning? Amen. Because if we don't, people, let me tell you something. We will not live the life that God called and chose us to live. Lord, have mercy.